Okay, so I'm somebody who buys in bulk, mainly at auction. But, um, yeah, when I got a chance and I get auctions, I, I do actually buy in bulk. And this is all like out of six like trays, I managed to fill like two of like worthy, worthy stuff that will sell on eBay or you know that'll sell elsewhere. Yeah, you're left over with like stuff that won't sell. So, like, what what do you do? What do you do with it all? So basically I've kind of come up with a plan of what to do with like rubbish that doesn't sell and it won't sell like you know on its own. Now <laughs> I've just said like it won't sell on eBay <laughs> and yeah number one put it on eBay. Yeah whether it's a shirt or a plate or that you know mass produced teddy bear that you know probably won't sell or you know a, a board game with a few missing pieces as long as you put everything that's wrong with it or everything you know all the details in just give it a whirl you never know and it, because the majority of my stuff is buy it now um i would say just put it one whirl on buy it now one cycle doesn't sell put it on auction and if it doesn't sell individually on auction because usually if you put it up for like 99p then someone might you know put a 99p bid in right at the end so make sure your postage is up and everything so like you're gonna kind of make a little bit more of that but like yeah if it's if it's stuff that you haven't really factored in and you're selling it you might as well give it a try on eBay, why not? And just to like a little side note, try bundling up items of the same uh, brand or size. Even if it's a plate, mixed plate sell, mixed sources sell, you know, I've sold a bunch. It just in like bundles of like 10, put them up for like a fiver. You're getting something at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And I know this is kind of cheating my pyramid, but still just try bundling it up, do a cycle, you never know. Okay, number two on my little pyramid is multi-platforms. God, you know, I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know at the end of the day. Yeah, you've, you've got obvious ones like Vinted and Depop and, you know, I think Facebook Marketplace is starting getting into the game now and, yeah, Gumtree, that's another one. You know, there's loads, there's loads. Okay, and the next, like, obvious one is the car boot. Really easy, really simple. The obviously the charger fee of like, well, it can vary between five and fifteen quid, depending on which one you go to. But like, yeah, it's simple. Start off at a car boot of like, you know, like everything. I I usually price everything individually for like the first hour or like in my head, you know, and then after that, like everything's a pound or everything's like you know less than a pound, you know. Try and just kind of get rid of it like the first hour price everything the way you want and then the second hour you know everything's pound third hour probably like three for a pound or you know everything like 50p you know that kind of thing just keep on working your way down just try and get as rid as much as you possible for, get as rid as much as possible for as much as possible <laughs> if that makes sense and if you do have stuff left over then mass job lot it basically put it on facebook or gumtree or pre-loved or free ads you know all the stuff that this at this level should be like your tat, you literally the stuff you cannot get rid of. You know, um the Wilco stuff, the B and M toys, the you know, the Primark stuff, like literally everything that you can't get rid of and just put it in like a box. And to be honest, if you do it right, like I buy a lot of stuff online at, on Facebook Marketplace and I see, yeah, I see like one little box on like maybe like ten shirts or like five shirts from Primark and the people want like twenty to thirty pounds for it and there's only one image and it's blurry. What I do is I literally take photos of everything or generally I put up like say five photos of like try and get as much detail as possible, you know, but you have so many people to try to get rid of this stuff and it's like so hard. Okay, and if you're still like watching or listening, um, yeah, it says donate to charity on my pyramid, but that is technically not true. I mean, it is, but this is kind of like a little secret that I've found out recently. And yeah, if you're watching in the future, they might have changed it, but yeah, I'm just going to talk about it in my next little bit. Okay, this is the last little bit of tip wise that I'm going to talk about. Um, yeah, if you can't sell it on eBay and you run out of you know, sh patience with Facebook Marketplace and country, um, and you know, you, you can't be bothered doing a car boo or when you have and all of else fails. If you can't sell something, bag it up, donate it. But I would donate it to Salvation Army. Now, this is a brilliant, uh, I mean, I, this is a brilliant idea on Salvation Army's part. They've got a reward card and these are the bags that they give you and the, the 99p, I think. And... Look, every time you use one of our bags for your donations, you'll earn a stamp worth £2. Now, <laughs> I know full well that the amount of stuff that you probably put in there 
would be worth more than £2. But if you can't get rid of it at this point, you might as well donate it. Well, you might as well get something back for donating. Look, you get a stamp and you can, you can spend it in store. But also, every £5 that you earn, you get a stamp. You spend £50, you get £5 off. Anything in store. So, <laughs> it's a brilliant... Honestly, whoever thought of this as Salvation Army is, is really good. Because um, it's encouraging me to actually go into it. And Salvation Army isn't actually my favourite charity to go shopping in. But I want to, mainly because of this. <laughs> Rewards card works. Loyalty cards work. Um, and yeah, if you, you've literally run out of ways to sell. And you haven't got anything else <laughs> up your sleeve. Boom. <laughs> Just do that. Get some money back. And yeah, why not? Yeah, so that's it. That's my little pyramid of uh, getting rid of stuff. My little process, my pyramid process, if you will. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the audio on the uh, on the last clip, but yeah, that's my little secret. And I think uh, the Blue Cross do it as well. So yeah, better check into it. But yeah, I'm gonna go. So ta-ta, enjoy, and happy selling. Bye.